friends and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here. Today we are going to make these two characters, Amber and Wade, out of dough. And for this craft we will need the following items. Colorful dough of black and white, red, orange, yellow, dark blue, lighter blue and light blue shades. Then I will need to use some acrylic paints, brushes, some water and of course a variety of tools. Since we will be working with colorful dough table, the surface can get sticky and messy so I like to protect my working space with a little craft mat. Let's start with rolling a black dough and make it nice and flat. It doesn't have to be perfect because this black dough will serve as a base. Next thing what I'm gonna do is roughly cut out amber out of this page. Same thing with Wade. Next thing I'm gonna place cut out of amber on top of the black dough. Press it down a little bit and with this sharper tool I'm going to outline picture of amber, however, I am going to be going a little bit over the lines. Let's remove the paper. There are slight markings on the dough that I'm going to follow to cut out the shape of amber. Next, let's remove the excess of the dough. And we can put this shape or shadow or base aside as we don't need it for now. Next, let's go ahead and roll the red color. Doing the same thing next, placing the cutout of amber on top pressing it down, but this time I'm going to mark the actual shape of amber following the outline. Removing the paper and doing the same thing, cutting out her shape. Let's remove no longer necessary pieces of the dough. Just be careful because this section has lots of small details and yes, it's dough so we can also fix it but I'd rather keep everything nice and safe and in one piece. Next is the fun part. We'll get to combine these two pieces together. All right, now we're taking these two pieces and putting them aside because we will need our paper again and orange dough this time. We won't need too much orange dough because we'll just need to use it only in some areas. And another side note, try to roll the orange dough super duper thin. I am carefully following the line but look, I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm just outlining the orange sections on her legs a little bit on her arms and on her face. Let's place these parts on top. So I'm putting orange right here on her legs, on her arms and her face. Looking good, Amber. Okay, so next thing we are going to be moving on to the paints. Something about acrylic paints on top of the dough. You can totally use it and paint the dough. However, it will not last long. The paint will start cracking once it's dry and then your paint, your dough, gonna get all crackly. All right, let's squeeze the paints that we will need. We will definitely need white for her eyes, red, some yellow. I have very little bit of yellow left, so I don't think I'll be able to... Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I will be able to squeeze it. I was going to say there will be no paint left, but we actually have a lot left. Maybe a little too much. And black. I'm so excited to start painting. Now, try not to add any water unless you just need to rinse the brush, but that's about it. I'm going to paint her dress first.
While black is drying, I already rinsed my brush. I'm going to apply some yellow to her face. Little bit to her arms and legs. She also has a yellow belt. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm also going to be using copper color for the stripes on her dress. I'm taking this long and super thin brush and I'm going to make crisscross line design on her dress. Next, let's move on to her eyes and I'm going to be using white paint. Taking a thinner brush and drawing her brows with the red paint. Adding her lashes. She also has a red eyes. And super cute little red nose. And big happy smile. I'm going to add her teeth also. To make her eyes look more realistic, I'm going to add some black in the middle of her eye. And a little white sparkle for the light reflection. And I think Amber is ready. All right, it's Wade's turn next, and we will need three color doughs dark blue, lighter blue, and the lightest shade of blue. So I actually ran out of black dough. I have very little bit left. So instead, I'm gonna be using darker shade of blue for the base. I decided to go ahead and mix blue and black colors together, and I think it's turned out to be such a cool mix. Now I'm rolling it. Gonna make sure I make it nice and tall so it can fit picture of Wade inside. Okay, perfect. Pressing it down and doing the same thing. But since this is the base, we are going to outline a picture of Wade with a little bit of space. Perfection. Okay, let's remove the paper. Let's remove the excess. And base for weight is finished. So I prepared two of these blue shades. However, I think I'm going to stick to the lighter shade of blue. As you see, unfortunately, this light shade of blue is super crumbly, but I hope I can still make it work. Okay, and now let's carefully transfer this lighter shade of blue on top of our base. Something like that. I did notice I have some excess shade that I need to remove so it looks better. It's time to do some painting. I already rinsed my brushes. I have fresh water right here. And for the colors, let's see. We already have yellow. However, we will need some of this lighter shade of green too, a little bit for his shirt. And we will also need aqua color of paint for his tie and his eyes. Let's go ahead and paint his shirt. Let's add a little bit of green. Next, let's go ahead and paint his tie. Okay, we will also need darker blue for his eyes and his brows and his smile too. Apply some darker blue shade and paint his brows as well as his smile. Next, I'm gonna use some white to paint his badge and his eyes. We can't forget to paint his nose. The same color I'm gonna use for his eyes and for his badge. Next, I'm taking my thin black brush and adding some font to his badge as well as black into his eyes. And a little white dot for the light reflection. Also, I'm going to outline the top of his eyelid. Then I mix a little bit of black and yellow and adding buttons in the middle of his shirt. Just like so. Let's add some shadow under his neck. 
for some definition and a little bit of blue for his cheeks a little bit of white and blue for the water effect since he is a water elephant and we are done and here are two characters from Disney Pixar Elemental Amber fire element and Wade the water element completely made out of colorful dough and acrylic paints I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye